So the last thing that I want to mention is the motor neuron size. As we can see, type 1 fibers have a very small motor neuron. Not only that, but one motor neuron will recruit less than 300 muscle fibers. This just simply means that these muscle fibers are not able to generate a lot of power because they don't have a huge signal from your nervous system. And so as we shift focus, type 2A fibers will have still a quite red color. They will be bigger. They will have some amount of mitochondria, some amount of myoglobin, and a quite good capillary density, but their motor neuron size will be bigger. Not only that, but one motor neuron has the capacity to recruit more than 300 muscle fibers. This is much more than in type 1 fibers. And so the type 2X fibers are going to be not only your biggest muscle fibers, but they will also be white because they have very little myoglobin. They have very little capillary density because these muscles do not need oxygen to function. They will have very little mitochondria because once again, anaerobic processes happen in the cytosol. So the muscle fibers simply do not need a lot of mitochondria. And of course, they will have the biggest motor neuron. Why? Because they are able to generate a lot of power, which means your nervous system is able to send very powerful signals and recruit a lot of muscle fibers in order to produce a huge amount of power.